What's up, Scorpio? Welcome to your November 2018 mid-month reading. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, at Waterstar Vibes. I do daily readings, I do pick a card readings, and I do test your intuition games. It's a lot of fun, so follow me at Waterstar Vibes. Now, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel, like it if it resonates with you, and leave me a comment. I want to know what's going on. Make sure you guys share too and tell all your friends about Waterstar Vibes. All right, so, um, Scorpio. As I was meditating on your energy, I was getting sneaky, 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 sneaky. What on earth does that mean for you? We're going to get into these cards to figure it out. So what is, what is it that you're doing? Um, or there's a lot of sneaky behavior around you. Somebody's sneaking. Somebody is not saying something out loud. We're going to get to the bottom of it. Ooh, okay, right off the bat, we got the moon card. So something's about to be exposed, and it could be by Pisces or a fellow water sign. It could be Scorpio, your sign. It could be Cancer. But this um, usually represents Pisces. So some information is about to come to light. I just said sneaky, sneaky. And you're probably going to have to defend yourself. Or you're probably going to have to stand up for yourself and whatever this is that comes out. Okay. But something is definitely about to be illuminated. Okay. Something is going to be put on the forefront. It's something that's not going to be able to be hidden. And other people will know. So if you've been looking for justice, you're going to get open justice. But if, you, if justice needs to be served against you, it's going to be exposed. All right, let's go ahead and keep looking into this. Wow, we got the sun card, the sun right next to the moon card. So in the past, it was like you had a good thing going. You had something wonderful that you were working on. And this could be related to what's about to come out. Like you had something amazing that you were working on in the past. And it's almost just about that time before people start to hear about it. Maybe it was something that you believed in and nobody listened. Who knows? Let's see. So in the recent past, we had the Nine of Wands. Now, I forgot who got this energy, but it was somebody who was getting ready to give up. And this is where you were in the recent past. So it's kind of like, uh, damn, and this is the same thing. I forgot who energy this was. It was the Nine of Wands, and then it digressed to the Seven of Wands. So in the recent past, you may have been feeling like you're ready to give up. You may have been feeling like, I surrender, I quit. But then... As things went on, you got this seven of wands energy where it's like, I'm no longer on my knees. I'm standing on my two feet. I got my sword raised and I'm fighting and I'm defending whatever it is that I want. For some of you guys, I'm hearing that it's someone lying to you and you keep forcing it, forcing it, forcing it. Like, tell me the truth. I need to know the truth. And it's hard for you to make a decision or move one way or the other because this person won't tell you the truth. And it's kind of like you don't want to leave it to your own mind and your own devices. But, damn it, what else am I supposed to think? You're not telling me nothing. Let's keep going. Hmm, okay, yeah. So this is someone from the past. This could be a soulmate that you're dealing with. It definitely could be a Leo Sagittarius or a um, Aries. Okay, so we got Pisces on the board and we got fire on the board. Cancer Scorpio Pisces right here. So in your mind, this is someone from the past. This is someone who you had a really deep connection with. This is someone who you really loved. Okay, you had feelings for this person. And it's kind of like this person made you have to fight for the relationship or made you have to stand up for yourself in the relationship. But what do we have in the near future? Well, we have the four of wands. So it's like things are kind of just digressing. Okay, we went from the nine of wands where I'm ready to give up. Then we went to the seven of wands like, you know what, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to fight. And then we hit the four of wands, which is stability. So maybe you've been fighting for something for a while and you're about to get what it is that you want. Or what it is that you want is about to become stable and solid. This could be a project. This could be a job. This is, you know, it, it also has that air of energy like, you know what? I've been trying, I've been applying for these jobs over and over and over. I give up, I quit, I'm going to roll over and die. And it's like, you know what, I'm going to just do two more applications. And then all of a sudden, boom. Now this could be after a time of you having, you know, security, having a job. Some of you guys could have been married and then got a divorce. And then everything went falling down. Or you could have been living with someone, everything was falling down. Or some of you guys could have had a parent to get ill. And then everything came crashing down on you. And so you had to rebuild and get yourself back up. All right. 
Now, what you fear, the chariot. So you fear some type of movement. But it's some type of movement forward. So I'm not understanding why you're fearing that. We're going to have to clear it up. Mm. Forward mover with a lover. So this situation here is talking about love. So you was ready to give up on love. Then you say, you know what? I may have to fight and defend this relationship. It could have been illusions and fears that you were fighting and standing up for. Because that represents that as well. And now it's stable. And you're afraid that it might not be all that that is cut up to be. Or it could be too good to be true. So you're afraid that it's too good to be true. Like it was everything I ever wanted and more. But then it fell. And then I stood up for it and I fought for it. I got through the illusions. I got through the bullshit. Boom. What you want wants you too. But you're afraid it's too good to be true. So what you gonna do? Alright, let's see how people view you. Okay, the three of wands. So here we go again. Some more wands. So it's about to be stable, but people see you as turned away, turned your back. Okay? But they also see you as maybe taking the next step. Because if you have the choices behind you and you have something wonderful coming in, which is the ship, the ship coming in, you're looking out on the horizon knowing that you have something great and wonderful coming in, it could be the very next step, which is the stability. So someone sees you as stable. Someone sees you as a very wonderful love, someone who knows how to move and shape, and someone who is very becoming, okay? And so someone is very allured by you. Now, this could be an old person from the past, but it could also be someone new. Now, some of you guys are stuck on a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or someone with this energy from the past who made you feel like, yo, I have to give up, I have to do something different. But it is because of that relationship that you are learning what you really, really want in a relationship and that's why you're about to get that stability that home that love this is also marriage this could be a soulmate or a twin flame this is very balanced though whoever's coming in is very balanced now if you guys have recently left someone i wouldn't be afraid i would get get out of that past energy let the past go okay especially if you found out some stuff that wasn't too pleasing because you can definitely move into another energy where someone's going to do you right. Someone's going to be supportive, okay? Because this is about support. Somebody who's going to give that foundation. I feel like the last person that you was dealing with was somebody who didn't know how to set a foundation. It was always rocky. It was always uneven. We got nine. That's an odd number. We got seven. That's an odd number. But this person coming in is four. They're equal. You will be each other's equal. You will balance each other out. And that's what you need. So this person coming in, seeing you, probably seeing you from afar, feels like, you know what, I can balance that person. Because right now they see you as a three energy, which is still kind of unbalanced. And they're feeling like, you know what, I can come on in and balance her out. I can balance him out. What that person needs or what that person lacks, I fill in. And it seems as though wherever this person may have lacked, you fit in. And it'll be a nice balance. Now what you hope for... <laughs> Is that not a scale? Is that not justice? Is things in this picture not balanced? You want the balance. What you want wants you. Like I said, you want the balance in a relationship where it's give and take, where it's not uneven, where it's not just you giving, where it's not just you doing all the work, putting in the effort, and then having to sit back and accept whatever treatment you get or whatever it is that this person does. You just have to sit back and accept it. Meanwhile, whatever they don't like about you, you up doing a robot trying to change it. But you want something to be fair. You want it to be justice. And some of y'all, I'm going to just be real. Some of y'all want karma and revenge on whoever it was that threw you off balance. And you don't have to worry about that. Because it will be. Justice will be served. And whatever, you got to just know the law of eventuality. You got to know the laws of karma. And just rest on that. I know a lot of people hate that. Sometimes we want to see people's revenge, but sometimes it's better not to see people's revenge. Because then guess what? You start feeling sorry for them. Then you want to help them. And now you helping the same person that broke you because karma had to break them. Now he, you come sweeping up the pieces like, really? Why don't you just move on with your new, with your new boo, please? Okay, thanks. In the near future or the outcome, this is the King of Cups. So someone very nurturing, very loving, very good on the home front, once again. So this is your king. Or men, this is your queen. 
this is the person who's gonna come bring that stability. I told you, you guys got somebody new coming in, okay? This is definitely new energy now. This could be that person from the past that Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but I am feeling like this is someone new, okay? It could be a fire sign, it could be a water sign because that's literally all we have on the board. We have one card, this is Gemini. The lover's represents is Gemini, that's it. It is all water, pretty much. All water and all fire on the board. So this person is coming in to be your rock. This is the one. And that's probably what's going on in your mind. Some of you guys are thinking about creating memories with a family. Creating a family so that you guys can make memories together that'll last forever. And you will get that. Some of you guys have your forever mate coming in. It is your forever mate. This is the person that you will be with until you die. And then after y'all dead and gone, y'all probably go live another lifetime together. Because it's that type of energy. It's that soulmate. And look at you thinking, oh, this is too good to be true. Well, if you think that, it will be. Oh, wow. Everybody gets that card. Everybody gets that card. Okay, so here we have the, the Six of Swords moving on to Karma Waters, Karma Energy. We have the Ace of Wands, which is a brand new beginning, a passionate, fiery thing. And then we have the Six of coins this is being generous this is uh giving receiving those scales being balanced and then we have the four swords recovery so after a time of recovery you guys will be getting a very generous offer and when i say generous i mean loving um inviting warm and it's going to be an absolute brand new beginning because you chose to move away from something that was unbalanced that was unfair that had you fearful that created a lot of illusions in your mind i feel like this person this last person you were dealing with love to create uh illusions in your mind and loves to play games love to play mind games and so it contributed a lot to you feeling um uneven unbalanced that's that's really just the gist of it all unbalanced Ooh, see at the bottom of the deck the overall energy we got the three of swords so this is heartbreak this is frustration this is third parties intervening um with you guys it's not so much other women because i'm really not seeing other women on the board at all or other men like cheating type scenarios what i'm seeing is friends and family getting in someone's ear making them say and do stupid stuff towards you because it's so crazy how people are entitled these days and really think that somebody is supposed to take care of them. But you are supposed to be whole and 100% in yourself if you want to get in a relationship with somebody. It is not somebody else's job to raise you, to heal your broken heart. You can do all of those things on your own. And when your heart is full and pure, then you offer yourself to someone. Two grown ass well able ass motherfuckers should be able to come together and help each other build not tear each other down not be so weak that every time something happened in your relationship you got to run back and tell your friends or you got to get on the phone and call your mama or your daddy stop inviting other people into your relationship and if you are with somebody who always invites someone else into their relationship they're weak sorry they're weak and if you if you do that you got to stop you got to be strong enough within yourself to not let your feelings and your emotions bring other people into your relationships. If that's what you've been doing, it's a wonder they don't work. But this heartbreak card, I'm feeling like it's not really necessarily you. This may be the person who you left behind. You're a heartbreaker from now until... this. These energies that I'm feeling are really going to play out through the rest of the year but you might be breaking some hearts you could be a heartbreaker or you could have just recently got your heart broke but if you did just get your heart broke i'm telling you there are things working behind the scenes especially with this high priestess that is going to get you up out of this five of cups energy wow this five of cups energy right here is just like you crying over spilled milk you crying over things that you can't change you sitting and um some of y'all are playing the victim and it's okay if somebody did you wrong but don't sit in that energy like why does this keep happening to me it keeps happening to you because you keep crying talking about it keep happening to you change the narrative change the story in your mind and your reality will change will of fortune destiny you got to focus on your destiny and your purpose if you wait in on this perfect relationship to come through ain't nothing sexier than a person who own their destiny who living out their life purpose so you're gonna be sexy just doing what you was born to do come up out of this energy here this is the eight of Source, this is the energy you being stuck and trapped in your own head. Ain't nobody really holding you back but you. Now, if it's going through this heartbreak, this heartbreak is once again you crying over stuff that you can't change. You can't change the past. And that's great. 
because you can learn from it, move forward, and you can change your future. See, sometimes it takes that fucked up past to create a fantastic future. And if you are crying over the past, feeling like you want to go back to the past, then how you going to ever change the future? You got to think about what the future looks like. And let me tell you what the future looks like. It looks like justice in the motherfucking building. Karma going to be serving up on that ass. It looked like a stable, solid foundation is in your future. And it looked like you got a Haman or a woman who about to turn up on the love front and make you feel real good. Scorpio, I'm going to do something for you that I haven't done for anybody else yet. I don't know why I feel so led to, but I'm going to pull a, a angel answer therapy card. I'm going to pull just one. And I'm going to see what spirit got to say to you in the form of the angel answers. All right, we got indigo. The person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive natural born leader. Okay, so this is you. I'm inquiring about you. So you're highly sensitive and you're a Scorpio. That's a water sign. You use a lot of your intuition and your subconscious mind to help manifest and bring things forth anyway. So um, you're a natural born leader. And what's so crazy, the thing that I just got is people are watching you and the decisions you make with your relationships. A lot of people model themselves on what to do in their relationships based off what you've done in your relationships. So if you're sitting in a relationship that was uneven and unbalanced, you might promote uneven and unbalanced relationships, especially if you're the type to be, you know, feeling like this, heartbroken and stuff. But you go out there and you, oh, girl, I'm smiling, my man, but it's not really like that. That's really bad energy. Okay, so make sure that you guys are being those natural born leaders and setting that good example. I know sometimes a lot of people don't ask to be no example. People don't ask to be role models, but damn it, sometimes God chooses you whether you ask it or not. So if God is asking you to be a leader and make smart decisions so that other people who are watching you make, make smart decisions, then you got to do what you was born to do. So... I hope that makes sense and I hope it resonates with you guys. Um, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and go ahead to Instagram and follow me at Waterstar Vibes. Scorpio, I hope you guys have a great month and I will see you guys in December.